Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 23, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Battle World Civil Warriors. So I've already gone in and scouted out the path that I was going to be taking. And as you'll see in a minute, uh, I am taking path two. So I'm going in with a team of Nick Fury, Warlock, and Corvus. That's my rank three six star Corvus. He's not awakened, but honestly, for Alliance War, his awakened ability doesn't really matter all that much. For AQ, with the timeout technique, then it matters. All right, so first up, we're going to be dealing with Stealth Suit Spidey. Now, one thing when I was looking over this that I knew was that I was going to get a charge, that evade charge, because Stealth Suit Spidey, he's going to evade at least one time. All right. So we just have to be careful. All right. You see, I was like hitting him one time. All right. Twice he did the evade. Now he's not going to evade. It's on cooldown. Now I can do my heavy attack. Now I got the charge. You see it up there? And now I can just fight him normally. Now he fired off his special. Now he's got spider sense again. So he has a chance to evade, which is why you saw me hit him once and back off that time. All right. So he went down not too difficult, uh, an opponent at all. Uh, so next up we've got Mordo. Mordo is annoying. Uh, depending on the AI that you get, he can be a really, really annoying, uh, champion to fight. Now, a little bit about this path. It's a uh, path two, which I pretty much, for most of the season in my last alliance, um, I took path two. And towards the end, I was switched to path three. So this path, uh, you really want to take someone, bring someone who doesn't rely on a lot of specials. That way you can ignore the node, okay? And that's what you see me doing here. Uh, I'm not worried about firing off specials with Nick Fury. Just want to get that bleed and get this guy down. Okay. We got uh, lucky with the AI. Uh, this AI was a little bit more aggressive. All right. Nope. We're not buying into that. So you can't astral evade. And boom, he's down. Okay. Uh, pretty simple and easy. But if you bring someone in that you're relying on them getting to a special two or three or something like that, not a good time because uh, as you do certain actions, um, actually for section one, it's the fury stacking. So you're okay there. Um, you will get to your specials. Uh, in section two, path two is where you want to bring someone that doesn't rely on their uh, specials. All right. But that first uh, section, uh, path two, not too much of a problem. Uh, you just don't want to get hit because those Furies will build up and you'll get one shot. All right. All right. So we're going to be fighting this guy here. Now, Symbiote Supreme, he's easy to fight if you know how to fight him. But you don't want to go in there with someone who has a lot of buffs like Corvus ramped up. He gets hurt bad. Uh, I remember when Symbiote Supreme first entered the contest, uh, I went in with my Corvus. He was awakened, and that was the only reason he survived. You know, I had fought Symbiote Supreme, he was almost dead, and I just brought in a full health, five-star, rank five Corvus, and he went instantly down. He would have gotten one shot. Um, but he is uh, not that bad. Uh, if you have a high damage champion, that EMP modification, again, you don't want someone with buffs. So basically, uh, they placed him on there so that if you were foolish enough to bring someone with buffs, you were going to get wrecked both ways. But of course, my boy Nick Fury, I really miss Nick Fury when I use him in Alliance Quest on that uh, Do You Bleed path. I really miss my Nick Fury. He, he's definitely one of my MVPs for Alliance War. Uh, would love to get a second Nick Fury. Six star, 
awaken him, he would definitely go up. All right, so now we're fighting uh, Electro. And I remember when Electro was a terror. Now this Electro, he's a six star, but he's not awakened. So it's not a lot of damage in any case that you'd be taking. But uh, Nick Fury handles Electro pretty well. All right, so didn't have too much of a problem with that Electro. Used to have to bring uh, Black Widow, not Clairvoyant, OG Black Widow, in order to deal with uh, uh, those Electros. She could shut them down. Well, now we've got a lot of options for Electro. All right, so next up we've got Iceman, and you already know that I brought in Corvus looking at this Iceman, who's a mutant, so I'll get another charge, and Corvus is immune to cold snap. All right, so I used to hate when people put Iceman, you know, on my path because it meant I was going to take damage. You know, um, I fought one war where all they put on all the paths were champions that did damage to you um, without you really being able to deal with it unless you brought the perfect counter. Now, remember, at this time, the uh, nodes were hidden. The champions were hidden. Uh, so you couldn't see the defenders. They put Icemen. They put Magic. I mean, it was ridiculous. All right. And uh, later on, uh, I remember uh, Elsa. So, yeah, that was just one of those annoying uh, fights. All right. So... We cleared uh, path two, uh, and that was the path that I was actually talking about before, uh, where your combat power rate, if you don't fire off specials, you quickly lose the ability to fire off specials. That's, that's the bottom line. Uh, so if you can bring someone who doesn't really rely on specials, you know, they're nice to haves, but they are just fine without specials, great. Now, the reason I didn't bring Nick Fury against uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant here is because Black Widow Clairvoyant starts in her Curse of Blood, which means she is immune to bleed. The only way to get her not immune to bleed would be to leave yourself open and hope she does a five-hit combo ending in a light attack. Not a good strategy. Not a good strategy at all and definitely not one I would recommend uh, doing in an alliance war. So I'm going in here and uh, you can see I'm taking it fairly seriously. Not, not, we're not um, very serious in alliance war, uh, but I have a bunch of these in my overflow even. So I'm just like, you know what? I need to start using these guys. I mean, what else are they there for, you know? Uh, so I just started to um, use a few that, you know, I had maxed out in the overflow. Um, the 15% attack boost, we get plenty of those. So there's zero reason not to boost up unless, like me, you forgot. All right. Now, um, I did this advanced power because I had a plan. I wanted to try and see if I could blitz her down with Corvus. Now I'm running suicides. I, I keep my suicides on. All right. So you see, I started with one bar of power and she's already at two. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what just happened? Okay. That's why I'm like backing off. I'm like, okay, come on. All right. So there we go. She fired it off, but I'm in the corner. So I'm getting hit all that, but that's fine. Okay. Doing the medium light medium. And uh, now you see why I did the power uh, boost. All right. Special two. Boom. All right. Almost. But still, you know, not bad. We can finish her off uh, as long as we don't have that buffet. And she dexed me. You saw that, right? And that threw me off, which is why I was getting hit like that. I was like, whoa, she dexed. And just my timing was off. But we got her down. Okay, no, no real uh, difficulty other than that Dex throwing my uh, uh, throwing me off my game a little bit and taking them five hits to the face. All right, so 
now we're at um, Mini Boss Island, and I looked around, and I'm already figuring who I would take, you know, if asked. The right-hand side, I can take that domino with Warlock. I could also take that domino with Corvus. Wouldn't want to do that necessarily because this Corvus isn't awakened, so there's a chance that she could just crit fail him to death. All right. Uh, so I just waited to see uh, what uh, they were going to do. And uh, I didn't have to fight any of these mini bosses, at least not in this war. Uh, we do have wars where we do fight the mini bosses. But here, um, folks brought counters and they were able to just boost up, clear stuff. Uh, and uh, we were able to get these down without too much difficulty. All right. So. Brief intermission, and we'll be back, and you'll see how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. So two wars in the bag. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.